um, in the letter I spoke of um, that I sent today, that I sent to 5505 Blue Lagoon, um, I, I, I told them that I, um, in the letter, that I contacted EEOC because of the what I'm experiencing. And because and um and, and with her removing the um moving me from my moving me from the schedule, clocking me out, um not just once, mm-hmm. twice, but in the past she also clocked me out before, um and sh- she said it was for different reasons, um that it didn't make sense before um June twenty first twenty twenty two she clocked me out before in the past, um and um. It's just, I mean, she just, it was, um, and it, I think it was on a Saturday as well, but she, um, like, um, I, one time, I think it was in January of this year, she, um, I was getting ready, I think I was sweeping, and, um, I wanted to sanitize my hand, and hands to, um, she said, take the customer order, it was a black male, I said, okay, but I was going to sanitize my hand to take his order. During COVID. And it, uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, COVID. Okay. Well, yeah, during COVID, before the COVID re- uh, restrictions are like they are now, um, have been re- uh, lifted. And she, um, thank you. And she, um, she, she, and she got upset and she clocked me out. And I just said, I'm out. The sanitizer was right there. I said, I mean, I don't, I won't sanitize my hand to take an order, but I was just going to sanitize my hand real quick. The sanitizer is right there next to the register. I'm out, and she she got she just she she said clock out go home and she I she clocked me out because of that it was and, and I was oh. um, this was um yeah and, and it is unbelievable I think it's unbelievable right now when I um I clocked in at nine um uh, today nine fifty three. 957 she caught me out and uh, she's saying she could smell the scent through her mask so i mean uh smell or smell she i don't think she she i don't know if she said scent but she definitely said smell through her mask so um what i'm what i'm trying to see is um just in case because i have already contacted the eeoc and i'm um scheduled because i i because i need um they spoke what i read they are remedials to um, try to get a solution to the situation before termination of a job. Sometimes they, uh, so I don't want my job to be terminated on wrongfully. That's why I told her, Phyllis, I haven't done anything wrong. So, cause I'm trying, I mean, um, the, when I try, have tried to speak to Phyllis, I think her last name is O'Neill. I'm good. Okay. I'm not sure. And asked her, when I realized there was conflict where she didn't want me to stand next to her for these past few years, I tried to speak with her and ask her. I was like so many times because that was suggested. Um, Carl, one of the owners said, just ask Phyllis, what can you do to make her day better What uh, in work? What can you do? Okay. I've done that. And then finally one day she said, um, she because my hours were cut. Um, this is during COVID-19. And she, uh, she said she wanted to talk to me. And, she, and I said um, about um what um what was going on between me and her why my hours were cut and i was um mm-hmm. ready to receive what she was saying she um she told me the reason why my hours were cut is because i wasn't having conversations and i said okay okay Okay, and so that so these are what some of the reasons why. And now she's at a point where she just um, saying um, went from scent. Um, she said um, hygiene scent to I stink, and now she just like not even five minutes. Um, let's see, not um, on the clock. She's saying she clocking me out, or and she's scratching my name off the schedule, and she's um, implying it's because I, I what you I stink. I smell. I'm using a scent. And so what I'm so when I when she said conversations, I wasn't having conversations. I was surprised. I thought she was going to tell me I wasn't doing right. I wasn't doing um, my customer service wasn't um, I, I was slacking. I need to smile more. I need to greet the customers more. I need to when she tells me to do something. I need to do it then, you know, whatever constructive criticism she can give me so that her and I can um, work alongside one another in a professional atmosphere. 
not personal, but professional. And she said, I wasn't having conversations. And I started to give her, I said, I have conversations with coworkers all the time. And I, and I kept bringing, I, I said, you know, 